if we want to talk about like what time of day is it? It's the new Bloodborne rumor, right? It's now uh, seven. It's seven forty-seven. There was a Bloodborne rumor earlier yesterday at six. There was one this weekend. There was one the weekend before. There was one three weeks before that. You know, the new Bloodborne rumor. The only reason I'm sort of paying attention to this one is uh, the the source that it was, which was a couple of like industry insider podcast guys that have apparently called before they happened. I, I tried to look into like, so who is this coming from? Why does this like a thing? Pretty much made like a very brief announcement that like Sony's not done with Bloodborne type of thing. Like nothing crazy. The same source is sort of called like a lot of, at least at least quite a few of early Sony stuff between like Ratchet and Clank, the new one, between Demon Souls being a thing, information being being spread over the past couple of years that there might be something somewhere. And I can sort of like back up some similar things like way, way, way down the line, like a long time ago, just hearing sort of similar things from just random people that like, you know, oh, they're not done with that. You know, oh, they're not done with that. I don't have anything recent, right? Don't don't get me wrong. I have nothing like recent to, to talk about any of this shit at all. Cause this is like, this is practically pre-pandemic once again, pre-pandemic shit. And a lot of stuff has changed over the past couple years. But apparently he was also saying uh, the same thing, right? That this same person was one of the people I think I retweeted from a long time ago that apparently Bloodborne has something to do with like Blue Point, right? That Blue Point and Bloodborne might have some sort of tie-in in some way. And I have to sort of go back and reiterate my thoughts on this whole situation and sort of like, pitch to you guys like this weird shit. That wasn't a part of the recent, the recent thing that was said about Bloodborne. All that was really said was like, like Sony hasn't forgotten about Bloodborne. Like this isn't the last you're gonna see of it. Which would make sense, right? There's, there's been, there's been so many damn people that are like, no, Sony's completely done. You're never seeing anything on it ever again. It's like, dude, like the, the game made them a ridiculous amount of money. Like there was, it wasn't like Elden Ring levels of absolutely batshit ballistic, but it was it was definitely a very successful first party IP that continues to be one of their technical best selling games slash most played games on PlayStation 4. So that means something. Yeah, and I'm trying to think like, when's the next big anniversary for Bloodborne? It's like 2025, <laughs> right? Like if there was actually something going on, 2025 seems like a very distant future to my ass, dude. <laughs> like if that's what we're gonna be waiting for, like, oh my God, that seems like a very long way away. But just to sort of like, once again, reiterate on the stuff that I was saying about Bloodborne, because I'm, I've been like in this boat where I wanna hack my PlayStation 4 so that I can actually play a modified version of Bloodborne that we can make like a randomizer on because there's a ton of like ridiculously cool fan mods that people have put into Bloodborne on PS4. You just have to put in a bit of effort to do it. And I'm like at this point where I feel, I feel like as soon as I put in that effort, right? As soon as I like, try all this stuff and do all these things and crack open my old PS4 and jailbreak it and get Bloodborne running and maybe made it, make it run at 60 or try to put a randomizer in there, all that crazy stuff. I feel like as soon as I do that announcement, right? Maybe I should is what I'm saying. Maybe I should, because what do I want the most out of a Bloodborne situation? Number one, a PC port. I think everybody wants that. Like what do we, if there was to be a Bloodborne thing or things that would be taking place where the, the series is a, a, a eventually like identified for resurrection, identified for remake, identified for PC release, like all that kind of shit. Feel like if I had the bare minimum, Right? The bare minimum, if there was a chance based on all this stuff, the bare minimum, PC port. Just get one of the damn PC port houses, get like Iron Galaxy or get a uh, friggin' Oh God, what, what are the names? There, there's, there's so many, there's so many of these companies that specifically do like big PC ports and stuff like that to put the damn game onto PC. Bluepoint, I uh, not nah, Bluepoint doesn't exactly do PC ports a ton. Nixes, yeah, Nixes is one of them. There's a couple others. That's the bare minimum. If I could have one thing that hopefully should not be expensive, like super expensive, like new project expensive, but hopefully could just be a thing. Good Lord, just give us Bloodborne on PC for Christ's sake. And just let fans, right, put it into the hands of fans to turn the game into whatever the hell they want. Just make Bloodborne PC, the bare minimum. Second best thing, right? And granted, I want all of these things to happen, right? 
I want all of these things to happen. The second thing that should happen that I think would be absolutely astronomically fucking cool and a huge like love letter to the game, right? A huge love letter to the game and its fan base and all the people that played that game in an absolute garbage fire PS4 state that it's been stuck in. I want Blue Point to make a Demon Souls remake. Uh, just make Bloodborne in a Demon Souls remake sort of version. That's what I want. I want I want them to do with their crazy visual aesthetics, with their insanely high fidelity shit. If there was like a dream version for the original Bloodborne, give it to Blue Point and then let them let them Demon Souls it. Holy fuck. They obviously have the foundation, right? But just imagine like, you know how Demon Souls added a ton of new animations and things like that? They added a whole bunch of like new, uh, uh, like not abilities, but like specific flares, specific like cool little animation references throughout like kills or viscerals or all that kind of stuff. Do that for Bloodborne. I've always felt that Bloodborne and its visceral attacks when you parry an enemy and you get like the, the heart punch, I'm like, that's cool, but it would have been great if there was a visceral attack for like every weapon, right? What if the, what if every weapon actually had a visceral attack of some kind, like a unique one? I'm like, damn, that feels like that should just be the way it is. Like, that, sh that should just been the way it is. But no, like the character would essentially like drop the weapon and just yoink in and grab your heart out kind of stuff. I'm like, that's the kind of stuff that if you were just talking about visual variety, if you were just talking about like a visual upgrade over the previous, a very easy thing that they could just add in new crazy visceral animations. Cause I, I love this stuff, man. The punching and shit, like all that cool stuff that you had with uh, like the backstab elements in, in Demon Souls, I thought was really dope. And it was neat to see all the ridiculous shit that was permeated throughout that game that, you know, you didn't see unless you played like every weapon. That's like a big dream to me. But here's the big one, the big hope that I have. Here's the giant hope of if, if any of this Bloodborne rumor shit that pops up every 30 seconds, two hours, two, two weeks, does end up coming true. Here's my biggest hopium, the giant hopium. And I've said this many times before. My hope is that FromSoft are the actual game designers and artistic craft behind a Bloodborne 2. My hope is that FromSoft is the one actually designing a Bloodborne 2, but they're not the one making it. In the same way that Capcom designed Street Fighter 4, Ultimate Marvel 3, you know, those kind of games but they weren't the ones that made them. They were made by different companies. It's my absolute, like, let me just chug all this hopium down. It's my absolute hope that um, you get FromSoft to design the game and pretty much create their Souls game, but they don't do it in the same engine that they've been using forever, right? The a crazy, unoptimized FromSoft stuff that we're now even seeing in Elden Ring. And Elden Ring's a beautiful looking game, but it's very much carried by its art, right? Just like all FromSoft games, they're carried by their art. Get Bluepoint to do it. Get Bluepoint to actually be the one that install and craft all the crazy, ridiculous shit that FromSoft would come up with. Not a big fan of that. I get it, I get it, right? I get it. But even if there was a situation in the future where FromSoft was gonna come back and make another exclusive Sony FromSoft game, I guarantee you it can't look like Elden Ring. If it's exclusive to a PlayStation sort of situation, the graphics need to be like the, the visual fidelity of the game needs to be amplified to a point that appeases the Sony Lords, right? And the biggest issue with a lot of FromSoft games, especially after like Bloodborne and stuff, which was a very early PlayStation game, that shit needs to look good. And the majority of the majority of FromSoft games have a pretty severe amount of issues and their engine is not technically the best and they've never been great at that, right? It's pretty hilarious that they've never been great about great at that. If it didn't even have that, I'd be fine, right? I'd be completely fine. I think that's cool. You know what? Whatever. I just want like the level design and I want the creature design and I want I want what whatever Miyazaki and crew has up their sleeve because clearly everybody's down for that shit, right? everybody's into that shit, especially after Elden Ring. All I'm saying is that, yeah, let Miyazaki be the designers. Let let the same art crew, let all the people at FromSoft do their FromSoft shit. But when it actually comes to them putting the game together, give that to Bluepoint. Make, make Bluepoint be the ones that pretty much attach their absolute ridiculously gorgeous 
visual fidelity to the game and have FromSoft be like, do it like this, do it like that. Here's the level design. Start designing this. Go for this. Yeah, the character's face looks weird. You fix that, like, kind of stuff. Like, all the really specific nuances. That is some super hopium. Granted, like, this is me wishing to the, the blood moon that this potentially could happen. That it's a, it's a giant effort between the two. That it's not a game that's designed by Bluepoint. And here's the funny thing. That's pretty much what Bluepoint has been doing, right? Here's the craziest thing is that Bluepoint has essentially been doing that shit. They did it with like Shadow of the Colossus without being specifically like curated by devs because they were making old games into new games. Shadow of the Colossus, Demon Souls, like that kind of stuff. Like that was them doing their thing with something that was old. And I'm saying, what if they were working together and they were side by side in this crazy development? I don't know. I, I'm completely, I'm completely down for that kind of stuff. But it's a big opium, right? It's a huge opium.